Hi, I'm Alan Novak, Senior System Engineer at Tech Data, and today I'm going to be talking about vSAN, or Virtual Storage Area Networking, and Hyperconverged Infrastructure, or HCI. So let's get started. To fully understand the importance of VMware solutions like vSAN, we need to begin by looking at where they fit into VMware's overall vision. You can see here a visual representation of this vision. Any device, any application, any cloud. The cross-cloud architecture with cross-cloud services and cloud foundation extend the hybrid cloud strategy that is integral to VMware's vision to help customers use any cloud to deliver any application to any device, enabling a software-defined approach to business and IT that speeds a customer's digital transformation. In the bottom section under private cloud, you can see the SDDC or software-defined data center. This is where vSAN fits into VMware's vision of any device, any application, any cloud. Now here we're going to look at HCI or Hyperconverged Infrastructure and what vSAN delivers to HCI. vSAN is the VMware solution to virtualized storage, much like vSphere virtualizes servers and Horizon virtualizes desktops. It is an ideal solution for an HCI or Hyperconverged Infrastructure. HCI leverages the hypervisor to deliver compute, networking, and shared storage from a single x86 server platform. The software-driven architecture allows the convergence of physical storage onto commodity x86 servers, enabling a building block approach and scale-out capabilities. The use of commodity x86 server and storage hardware allows data centers to operate with agility on a highly scalable, cost-effective infrastructure. VMware enables hyperconverged infrastructure by providing the foundational components of VMware's HCI solutions, which are VMware vSphere and VMware Virtual SAN, which allow the convergence of compute, storage, and networking onto a single integrated layer of software that can run on any commodity x86 infrastructure. vSphere abstracts and aggregates compute memory resources into logical pools of compute capacity while Virtual SAN, embedded in vSphere, pulls server-attached storage to create a high-performance shared data store for virtual machine storage. Customers can further extend vSphere to achieve the convergence of networking using VMware NSX, which decouples network resources from underlying hardware and brings the operational model of a virtual machine to the data center network. Now here, you can see the advantages of using a single hyperconverged software stack. It replaces the complexities listed on the left with the efficiencies on the right. vSAN is kernel embedded for optimal I.O. data path. It provides a major advantage in resource utilization, double the CPU and triple the memory utilization, and all features work natively. Some examples are native vMotion and native DRS. So, how is VMware approaching HCI? VMware's hyperconverged software is composed of three differentiating and best-in-class solutions. vSphere, the hypervisor that defines the industry standard, vCenter Server, a unified and extensible management solution, Virtual SAN, a radically simple enterprise-class storage solution that is uniquely embedded in the hypervisor. This hyperconverged software is available through the broadest set of deployment options from turnkey appliances to over 100 pre-configured pre-certified servers to the virtual SAN ready node program. VMware is the only vendor who provides this level of integration. So just what is vSAN or virtual SAN? Virtual SAN is VMware's software-defined storage solution built from the ground up for vSphere virtual machines. It abstracts and aggregates locally attached disks in a vSphere cluster to create a storage solution that can be provisioned and managed from vCenter and the vSphere web client. vSAN is hypervisor converged. That is, storage and compute for VMs are delivered from the same x86 server platform running the hypervisor. It integrates with the entire VMware stack, including features like vMotion, HA, DRS, etc. VM storage provisioning and day-to-day -day management of storage SLAs can all be controlled through VM level policies that can be set and modified on the fly. vCN delivers enterprise class features, scale and performance, making it the ideal storage platform 
for VMs. Here, you can see several ways how vSAN compares to a typical hyperconverged solution. It is more efficient, better CPU and memory usage, two and three times efficiency respectively with vSAN. It provides a simplified integration. You can use native vMotion and DRS and a single pane of glass for management. Since it is hardware agnostic, you have the flexibility to choose from multiple hardware vendor partners. vSAN provides both enterprise class scale and performance as well as new capabilities that broaden the applicability of the now proven virtual SAN technology to a wide variety of use cases at businesses of all types and sizes. With the benefits we just looked at, virtual SAN is well suited to be the storage for all your VMs. The most common customer use cases include business critical applications, end user computing or VDI, disaster recovery and robo, remote office branch office deployments. As you can see, there are also other ways customers are using vSAN. As virtual SAN continues to get deployed for all types of VMs, customer and market adoption is growing as well. Now this shows us an example of a vSAN three host deployment architecture. vSAN requires either three physical local hosts that contribute storage for a site, or at a minimum, two physical hosts at a remote site with a separate witness VM at the main site for remote office deployments. vSAN does scale up to a total of 54 vSAN hosts. The vSAN witness components, those that contain only object metadata, are part of every storage object. A witness serves as a tiebreaker to avoid split brain behavior when availability decisions are made in the virtual SAN cluster. Each virtual SAN witness component also consumes 2 megabytes of capacity. For network connectivity, even though 1 gig NIC is the required minimum, it is recommended to use 10 gig NICs whenever possible. Next, as you can see here, virtual SAN fully integrates with the entire VMware stack including features like vMotion, HA, DRS, etc. So it is ideally suited for VMware environments. Virtual SAN can leverage VMware vSphere data protection and vSphere replication for data protection, backup, replication, and disaster recovery, or DR purposes. It also interoperates with vRealize automation, and it can be deployed in conjunction with VMware Horizon View in VDI deployments and vCenter Site Recovery Manager in DR deployments. Lastly, virtual SAN enables both hybrid and all flash architecture. Irrespective of the architecture, there is a flash based caching tier which can be configured out of flash devices like SSDs, PCIe cards, ultra DIMMs, etc. The flash caching tier acts as the read cache write buffer that dramatically improves the performance of storage operations. In the hybrid architecture, server-attached magnetic disks are pooled to create a distributed shared data store that persists the data. In this type of architecture, you can get up to 30k IOPS per server host. In all flash architecture, the flash-based caching tier is intelligently used as a write buffer only, while another set of SSDs forms the persistence tier to store data. Since this architecture utilizes only flash devices, it delivers extremely high IOPS of about 90K per host with predictable low latencies. This provides an effective performance improvement mostly for two reasons. At a high level they are more parallelism for serving I.O., that is, more kernel threads, especially to drive the faster SSDs, and a more efficient data path, that is, better CPU cycles per operation. Well, that concludes what I have for you in this session. So to summarize, vSAN is part of VMware's any device, any application, any cloud vision under the private cloud section of the VMware cross-cloud architecture. Hope you found today's session about vSAN and HCI helpful. And if you would like more information, please contact your VMware team at TechData. Thank you.